It seems like only a few days ago I was sitting here talking about how Rosie Jones had been blasted on social media for her appearance on the Royal Variety Show, and that's because, indeed, it was a few days ago. And she's being blasted again on social media because she appeared on Big Fat Quiz of the Year. Catherine, what did you go for? Yes, hard time, well done, my cat. <laughs> the Widowmaker? Um, I thought I remember foot pigs. Oh, you're, you're dangerously close with... But it's, it's a related thing, but trolley is the right answer. Now, I appreciate people have the right to freedom of speech. If you don't find a comedian funny, you can, of course, go on social media and say, I don't find this comedian funny. And that's, you're right, you can do that. You're perfectly welcome to do that. I personally wouldn't, but you can if you want, because you have the right to do so. A lot of people have done that about Rosie Jones, but Law of Averages says, out of the amount of comedians on that show, there's bound to be one you don't find funny. You've got Richard Awadi, you've got Mel Gitterich, you've got Rosie Jones, you've got Catherine Ryan, you've got Mo Gilligan, you've got Kevin Bridges, you've got Jimmy Carr. So out of those seven, there's bound to be one you don't find funny. But what I don't like is the way that people seem to think that they can criticise Rosie Jones's obvious disability, being cerebral palsy. Which is not right, let's be honest. It's not a nice thing to do. She is fighting hard to push on despite that and be the comedian she wants to be. And all credit to her for doing so. I think it's when uh, Elton John was performing at Glastonbury and everyone thought she was going to come out and uh. perform with him. But she was like, no, I'm busy eating green shit. Yeah. Well, she's very busy because he actually cooked that and then she had to yeah. do some chips for Kev. Yeah. <laughs> now, I actually have an anecdote about Rosie Jones that I meant to tell in my last video, but I completely forgot to. And that is that years ago, I was in a comedy competition at the Water Rats in King's Cross. I was in a comedy double act at the time. And all us comedians were there to audition for this competition. We had 80 seconds each on stage for the woman who ran it. And we had to jump on stage, do 80 seconds. And then they decided at the end whether we got through into the first round of the competition. It was an uncomfortable, unbearable, unpleasant experience for all the comedians involved. I don't think anyone enjoyed themselves because the atmosphere at comedy competitions can be quite unpleasant sometimes. But me and my friend, we got up, we did our double act, we bombed, it was terrible, hated the gig, and hoped no one would ever remember we were on that stage. But then this new comedian called Rosie Jones got on stage, and she did her 80 seconds. I'd never seen her before, it was the first time I'd ever seen her. And to be fair to her, she did well, the audience laughed, and bear in mind most of the audience were comics, who don't want to laugh at other comedians' jokes. They laughed, they accepted her, she had a good audition, but for some reason she still didn't get through. I don't understand why. She didn't get through, because she did very well. But that was the only time I actually really saw her, because I carried on to the comedy circuit, doing all the kind of rough gigs that comics do, which I'm still kind of doing now. But she managed to kind of really boost her career and get out of this kind of smaller circuit quite quickly, get good representation, and now she's on TV. So, you know, all credit to her for doing that. But there you go. So that just is there to prove, I suppose, that she can make an audience laugh. I appreciate some of you don't find her funny, but she can do it. It's well within her comic ability to do so. And she is assured in her own ability, even if you don't perhaps feel that you are confident in her ability. She has confidence in her ability to do it, so don't worry about it. So yeah, there we go. People out on social media again, just being mean. Come on, let's leave her alone. She's not going anywhere. She's obviously now going to be on TV. She's going to be a regular on these things. Let's live and let live and press on and enjoy the rest of our seasonal break.